What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries. Now, just before we dive into this brand new tips and tricks video, I have a massive giveaway to announce for you. Now, I did a poll over on Twitter a few weeks ago asking you guys that would you like me to give away some of my old gear as I've made some upgrades to my setup and the overwhelming response was yes, so I've decided to do that for you, but I've also added in some new ones as well. Now, this is only the beginning of the giveaways guys. I'm going to do one again in two weeks time with more gear to give away. So there will be two winners for this first giveaway guys the first prize is a blue yeti usb microphone with a pop filter and a shock mount and then the second prize is a brand new logitech c920 webcam so if you want to enter the link is down in the description so go down there check it out put in your entries and i wish everyone the best of luck with the giveaway so without me keeping you waiting any longer guys let's dive in and check out the tips and tricks So taking a look at this first trick guys and this one is a hiding spot and an angle located in the lab on a theme park now this is a dope spot and all you got to do here is by getting up on top of the cocaine pallets by standing on top and looking at the shelf above you you need to stand right at the end of the right hand side of the shelf now once you walk towards it you'll get caught right on the corner and from there you turn and look at the unit across the, the way from you now at the very right hand side of the unit as you can see where i'm marking this is where the vault prompt will pop up for you so you need to be looking at this specific location now once you've lined it up you just need to run and you will vault up on top of that unit now you might miss it out a couple of times it's very very quick once you get used to it and you'll be able to get right up into that spot and all you need to do then is crouch walk over into the middle section of the unit unit now from here you can watch the whole of the site of course and enemies will not expect you to be sitting up there so you can catch a lot of them by surprise when they're pushing through a drug storage now for the second part of this trick it is also an angle that you can use just through the door out onto that outside window outside drug storage all you need to do is crouch walk up on top of the small ledge in front of you and you'll be able to peek right through the top of the door now make sure to destroy the small container on top of the shelf that is right in front of that window and you'll be just able to see a pixel peek over the top of it For this next trick guys this is a bit of a weird one i'm not too sure how affected this would be but i think it'd be a lot of fun to use anyway and i've definitely been trying it out but basically you can use a shield to get up on top of these barrels or you can open up the hatch up above and drop down on top of it now once you get onto that first blue barrel if you look at the exact spot that i'm looking at on screen you'll be able to vault up onto the upper barrel now from up here you could use it as a spot i feel like it's more effective if you don't open the hatch and use a shield as an enemy pushing in there would notice the hatch is open and then would be able to see you up on top of the barrel but with the hatch closed they'd be less likely for anyone droning in there to spot you sitting up on top of the barrel Now, there's also another thing you could use for this. You could place a maestro cam up on top of it, especially with the site on that first floor, and they're trying to get that wall open inside barrels. You'll be able to prevent them getting that wall open with the maestro hidden up on top. So moving on to the next trick guys and we have a disgusting spawn peak for you here over on bank now it is located on the very front side of the building out by the atms area now what you need to do here guys it's very straightforward is by breaking the top of the bush on that pot and then hitting the pot once 
if you lay prone in between the countertop on the left and the pot on the right, you'll be able to hop up on top of that pot. Now once you're up there, by breaking the window, you'll be able to see out towards the parking front spawn where you can catch enemies completely off guard with that easy early kill in the round. Now I will be showing this from both perspectives here and a clip from when I actually used it in a game as well to check it out to see how good it was. And it really is so difficult to actually spot the person sitting up on that window ledge you can see from my perspective here as I spawn in and I walk around the side of the security truck I actually can I could barely see him inside the window So moving on to the next one guys and this is an amazing angle now this one was shown to be by nico or six and now you have to check this guy's twitter out it is insane some of the stuff that he has found he's like a wizard when it comes to finding crazy angles and other tips and tricks as well for siege so please go check out his twitter i promise you you will not be disappointed now with this angle of course it can be risky it is in the hallway right outside of the site but if you are efficient enough to make these holes in the wall this will actually be an incredible angle to use now what you need to do is by breaking holes in the wall if you leave that small section on the wall you'll be able to vault up on top of that and then up on top of the vending machine from there you can open up the top of the site where the reinforced walls would normally be and you'll be able to see over the top of that into the objective now you can catch enemies off guard in there they will not be expecting you to be standing up there picking them off inside the site and you can make that quick push to winning the round For the next trick guys this is just a couple of maestro cam locations that are extremely effective in high traffic areas that will definitely help you out in protecting the objectives and providing extra information to your teammates now i've had a lot of people asking me for more maestro cam locations so if you want a full video dedicated to the best maestro cam locations in the game let me know down in the comment section the maps you want me to focus on the most So for the final trick today guys, now this is a Pixel Peak spawn counter on Theme Park. Now a huge shout out to the Beastly Wolf for sending me in this one. This is a dope way to counter anyone who's peeking from those windows on the front side of the building. Now all you need to do is basically right where that little metal fencing comes out from the side of that circular building, you can lie down and peek through a tiny little pixel peek in the fencing and you can see each of those three windows on the side of the building. So just before I let you go guys, just a reminder again, don't forget to enter that giveaway and there are plenty more on the way in the coming weeks. So make sure to get down into the description and check out that. Now keep up to date on my social medias. I post on them every single day. So if you want to keep up to date on everything that I'm doing, all the links are down in the description. Now, of course, if you want to have a tip or trick featured in one of my videos, make sure to join up on my Discord and post them in there and I will check them out and you may see them in a future video. 
Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know me upload our next video. And as always, yell and